In this video I'm going to talk about the uh, static content or uh, better or newly called hero scenes. I will talk about all of them and uh, explain what uh, each look like and what they uh, display. Now if you're wondering why st the name static content or why the uh, the hero scenes well hero scenes are uh, trendy uh, name used in modern uh, web design while static content was the name uh, added uh, for these types of uh, elements back in the previous uh, versions so um, basically this these elements are neither uh, sliders they're neither uh, subheaders they're not uh, sections they're just blocks of different content with uh, uh, nice uh, nice options and nice uh, layouts so moving on in this video I'm going to talk about the static content simple text now to uh, preview the elements simply open uh, hero scenes and look for the simple text uh, menu item as you can see here uh, basically uh, we have a few texts and a button a line pretty much uh, very simple you can achieve this uh, I don't know with custom HTML or other elements but we have that this element since uh, the beginning of Kalias so we thought we should uh, still maintain it now um, we yeah so moving on uh, I will just edit this page with a page builder and I will access the options if you have troubles reaching the options bar just hide the header and uh, it will uh, you, you will be able to uh, reach the options good so as you can see here we can uh, set a custom height by default it's um, 600 pixels but you can add uh, any any um, any height you want uh, then we have the full screen options now if you see if I enable this option the custom height uh, option is uh, automatically disabled so um, that would that would be just normal I guess so uh, the full screen uh, full screen um, option actually means that the element will uh, uh, be will be full uh, full height and because the if, oh, sorry you can see that the element is now fit into a container but the actual element is uh, fully stretched onto the whole width of the page so let me just show you this uh, if I select uh, I don't know uh, not going to add any background just a background overlay I'm going to say this one and as you can see this is the actual element not just the boundaries of the container now switching back because uh, I don't like this you can have a lot of uh, you can play a lot with these uh, settings I will uh, jump to them a bit later and you have the uh, the actual text uh, box where you can add your custom text as you can see there's a lot of HTML because uh, basically this gives you freedom to achieve uh, uh, this layout in particular but also other uh, just other uh, elements too sorry uh, layouts too so we also have a shortcut here a short code here uh, tooltip you can see when you hover the uh, this uh, bolded text right here you can uh, you will see a uh, um, a tooltip and moving forward uh, we have the buy me button 
right here which you can check which you can change the text of you can select the um, the button style you can have it flat like this flat and skewed line or line and skewed you can also select the text color theme for example I can select on this background I can select the light theme I will just save it in a few seconds just want to also talk about this uh, button link option which is tied up to the button text and the actual button as you can see yeah so now I've changed the background yeah I'm smart I know <laughs> so uh, as you can see the uh, uh, theme of the color the color scheme of the of the element has been changed after I uh, selected the uh, the light uh, the light uh, theme and at last we have this uh, enable faded mask option which is um, which will add a faded mask onto the bottom now um, you might wonder well why would I need it? I mean, as you can see, there's nothing much here you can uh, you can pretty much do. So I'll just um, select an image right here. I'm going to let me find a bigger one. Yeah, this one is okay. So. I will also enable the faded mask so better yet just show you this is how it looks without the um, the the mask and this is how it looks with the max mask and with the light text of course you can see this faded um, mask right here so that's about it with this element um, yeah sorry one more thing to specify um, we have also this background and style options but uh, the thing is I won't uh, explain about them because uh, uh, this is a long talk and I uh, choose to separate uh, and to make another uh, separate video exactly for these options right here the background and styles options because that's because these are uh, these are, uh, settings are found in uh, I don't know I think half of the elements uh, available in the page builder so uh, I will just cover everything in that specific video uh, it's called the uh, background uh, options for elements and uh, just have a look at it and you'll quickly understand uh, what I mean so thanks for watching um, if you have any questions feel free to ask me and if you have uh, any uh, troubles with the element simply subscribe to the forums and my, co my colleagues will uh, assist you there so again thanks for watching and see you in the next one